Oh, hi, my name's Louise Arnfield and I'm here with Christine today. We're here representing the members of the Finance Sector Union, uh, workers in the banking industry who uh, have been working really hard to try and rein in executive pay packets. We're here to protect the interests of our communities, our, our customers, the people that work in the ordinary branches out there in the banks who have to meet really hard sales targets to get a cost of living pay rise every year. We want that system changed. They, they talk about pay freezes, which is really a lot of double speak, really. Um, and that's the thing that our union's working so hard to learn those lessons from the last GFC, to make sure that they don't happen again. Yeah, I, that's what we want um, people to understand, that the, the workers in the banks do have to meet these quite aggressive targets uh, for job security and to get a pay rise. Uh, when they're trying to meet these targets that are always escalating, always bigger, uh, we see that reflection out in the community. We see the people struggling to meet those debt repayments. So we want to try and uh, get a bit of reason back into the whole industry. I can give you examples of that when um, the Commonwealth Bank uh, moved their home loan rates independently of the Reserve Bank. Uh, members uh, were spat on. Uh, they were in their bank. We were told by our bank not to wear our uniforms home. Uh, with, you so know, telling you not to wear your uniforms home? Because members were spat on at railway stations. Uh, we had members reporting that they'd go out for uh, you know, a smoko break or a quick break and uh, they'd be um, you know, bailed up by people. And that's the thing, that's, that's the great worry our workers have, that where they're trying to look after the best interests of our communities and our customers, but we're forced to meet these aggressive targets.